In this video, let us consider the microscopic features of thyroid gland. I am grateful to Dr. Michael Horsch of University of Michigan Medical School for providing me with these histology sections. Thyroid gland, as we know, is located in the anterior part of the neck. It is butterfly shaped with a central isthmus connecting the two lateral lobes. Each lateral lobe has an apex and a base which extend from the oblique line of thyroid cartilage above to the fourth or fifth tracheal cartilage below. Thyroid gland is covered by a capsule and this capsule sends in septae as we are seeing in this Mason's trichrome stain section which divides each lobe into irregular lobules. Under microscope we see that structural and functional unit of the thyroid gland are the spherical cyst-like thyroid follicles which vary in their size from 0.2 to 1 millimeter in their diameter. Each follicle is surrounded by a delicate network of connective tissue stroma containing peristated capillaries, lymphatics and sympathetic nerves. Each follicle consists of eosinophilic homogeneous colloid in the center which contains thyroglobulin. Periphery of colloid in some follicles may show a scalloped margin. These are the sites where the follicular cells have utilized the thyroglobulin. Follicles are lined by simple cuboidal cells called as follicular cells. These are arranged on a basement membrane. They may vary from being squamous cells to columnar cells based upon their level of activity. These follicular cells secrete T3 and T4 which helps in regulating the basal metabolic rate. They show basal basophilia with a central rounded nucleus. Under electron microscope, microvilli can be seen on their apical surface. These microvilli are required for absorbing thyroglobulin from the colloid. Second type of cells we see in the thyroid gland are the C cells or the parafollicular cells. They are either arranged along with the follicular cells on the basement membrane of the follicle but not quite reaching the lumen or they are found between the follicles as parafollicular cells. They are difficult to be uh, identified in the routine hematoxylin and leucine stain sections but they can be identified mainly by their having a clear cytoplasm or by their parafollicular position. These cells secrete calcitonin which helps in calcium metabolism. This is a schematic diagram showing the secretion of thyroid hormone by the follicular cells. Thyroglobulin is synthesized in the rough endoplasmic reticulum of the follicular cell and glycosylated in Golgi apparatus. It, they are pack, packaged into vesicles which are secreted into lumen of, by the exocytosis. Iodide in capillary is transported to follicular cytoplasm through sodium iodine symporter and then into the lumen of follicle through pendrin. Thyroid peroxidase which is on the surface of follicular cells oxidize this iodide into active iodine. One or two atoms of this active iodine will combine with tyrosine in the thyroglobulin to form monoidotyrosine or diidotyrosine. They combine variably to form T3 and T4 on stimulation by TSH, these follicular cells will uptake T3 and T4 from the colloid and transport it to capillaries. So to quickly recollect what we have learned so far, thyroid gland is covered by a capsule. Septae divide this, each lobe into irregular lobules. Structural and functional units of the gland are the thyroid follicles filled with colloid. Follicles are lined by cuboidal follicular cells which secrete T3 and T4. C cells or the parafollicular cells are found lining the follicle or between the follicles and these secrete calcitonin. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can also visit this site for similar histology videos.